its graduation day in this camp of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC. Here, young Marxist rebel fighters sing the left-wing anthem, the Internacional. It is followed by Colombia's national anthem, a sign that after years of fighting and months of classes, they are gearing up to enter civilian life. After nearly four years of peace talks, negotiators from the government and the FARC are expected to sign a peace agreement. This will end five decades of bloody civil war. It will be then put to a plebiscite, even though most Colombians distrust the FARC. Colombia's civil war began in 1964 with origins in sectarian violence dating back to 1948. It had claimed 8 million victims and over 200,000 lives. Now, these guerrillas hope they will soon be able to draw a line under one of the world's longest-running armed conflicts. Despite the odd skirmish between the rebels and the armed forces, the recent announcement of a bilateral ceasefire has seen the atmosphere at rebel settlements become more like intense summer camps rather than actual war camps. Between early morning squad thrust, mid-morning analysis of the peace accords, afternoon lectures of Marxist-Leninist dogma and nightly guard duty, young guerrillas play volleyball, cook lunch and watch movies inside a dirt bunker, still always carrying their AK-47 or M16 rifles. The fuck now wants to become a political party. Martin Guzman, a fighter of this front, which operates in the savannas of southern Colombia, explains what's coming. Yo creo que se vienen muchos retos, muchas posibilidades, y esperamos que se puedan dar las condiciones para que podamos seguir adelante con nuestro planteamiento político y, y con el proceso que se viene desarrollando. Eh, claro, seguramente esto ya desaparezca, cierto, pero las ideas y el proyecto político que tenemos sigue adelante. Seguramente ya tenemos más posibilidades o tendremos más posibilidades de interactuar más con la gente, de llevar nuestra propuesta política de una forma más clara, más amplia. Pero la idea es continuar con, con los mismos objetivos de construir una sociedad más justa, una sociedad más amable para todo el pueblo colombiano. Although commanders recognize some disbanded militants may simply form narcotics gangs, they are convinced most of their forces are rallying behind the upcoming peace accord. But disarmament of the FARC's 7,000 ground troops remains a sticking point, says Mauricio Jaramillo, one of the top FARC commanders. Exactamente desde ese tiempo estamos luchando porque eso no sea el factor determinante dentro de una organización como la nuestra. Por eso nosotros desde el principio también estamos peleando es por eso. O sea, el que el fundamento de esta organización no sea, no solamente las armas, pues. Bueno, eso, eso va a ser duro, porque yo no voy a tener libertades así, ¿no? porque yo también voy a ir amarrado a mi organización. Y entonces yo tampoco voy a hacer locuras así, tal cosa, de yo ir un día a salir por aquí, no, no lo puedo hacer, yo sé que no puedo hacerlo. Porque ahí yo tengo una responsabilidad también. Todos mis compañeros saben lo mismo. Dice, si yo no puedo hacer así, hermano, porque me, me pueden matar. Estamos en una situación específica y todavía hay peligros. The rank and flank rebels will face other challenges once they step out of hidden camps like this one. As John Lee Anderson, an expert in insurgency, explains. The Colombian FARC finds itself at a really rather extraordinary moment in which it, these, these young guerrillas whom we've spent several days with have to uh, soon contemplate leaving the forest where they've spent 10, 12, up to 20 years in some cases. And I say young guerrillas because some of them are still only about 30, some are in their 20s, but they've been here since they were 11, 12, 13 years old. This is their new family, and in that time they've spent in the forest fighting, fighting the state that they're now trying to rejoin. Um, they're having to assimilate concepts that are still alien to them. The idea of the Colombian nation, the idea of the world beyond this FARC family that they have been members of, really replacing their own original families. Um, there's quite a bit of pathos in the camp 
um, as well as group psychology still at work. And I think the great challenge they're going to face now is, is confronting and reassimilating with that world beyond, having created a parallel universe, really. Notwithstanding the hurdles, a signed Colombian peace deal would be a rare bright spot in a world of unresolved conflicts. And these young rebels seem to be truly looking forward to it. Peace, the echo, is definitely worth fighting for. Andres Kipani, Financial Times, Southern Colombia. In this video I will show you my city, La Paz. From its wrestling women to the nearby coca farms, and fine dining with local ingredients to the newfound indigenous confidence, come with me on a journey to see La Paz.